What are you saying or expressing through the music, especially through the melody? Autumn Leaves is probably one of the most covered jazz standards of all time. And since we're taking a focused look at it in my studio this month, a lot of questions have been coming up about it. And one of the things we've been talking about is this classic, some might even say definitive jazz version by Cannonball Adderley, but I'm not sure that's my favorite recording. And I wanted to show you what might be. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, this version is definitive for a reason, and it's so incredible I could talk for an hour about it. Not only Cannonball's solo, but what's going on with the way Miles phrases the melody. I mean, the whole thing is genius. However, there's this other version that I wanted to share with you that I think I'm gonna call it my favorite version. And this vocalist is somebody who may not be on your radar, but she's very special. Let's listen to just a little bit of the opening of of her version of Autumn Leaves. Ooh, you hear that? The guitar all of a sudden got like very stereo. The falling Okay, goosebumps, I've got goosebumps. So right away, the way she's phrasing the melody, just like who plays Autumn Leaves that way? The way that we're used to hearing Autumn Leaves played is or maybe with some sort of embellishment to that. And then there's the quality of her voice, just absolutely stunning. Now, if you're not familiar with who this is already, her name is Eva or Ava Cassidy. And this comes from an album called Songbird, which was released in the late 1990s. And she recorded, I think most of it, over two nights live at the Blues Alley Jazz Club in Washington, DC in January, 1996. She was 33 years old. This is the record. She's singing into an SM58 microphone on a club stage. This isn't like a promo video for another record. So what you're hearing of her voice, that's this. I mean, when I saw it, when I went to look it up on YouTube, just expecting to find the track and was blown away when I discovered this, ver like that there's actually live video of her doing this. Now the record didn't come out until a couple years later. Paul McCartney and Eric Clapton were among her newfound fans. Here's what Sting had to say. There's something about Cassidy's voice, a quality that you really can't put into words. It's magical. The falling So this is from 1996 and people are raving about her. You might be wondering, how come I haven't heard of her? Tragically, she developed melanoma and passed away from cancer the very same year at 33 years old. Jazz critic Ted Joya, hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, wrote, you might be tempted to write off the Cassidy sensation as a response to the sad story of the singer's abbreviated life rather than as a measure of her artistry, but don't be mistaken, Cassidy was a huge talent whose obscurity during her lifetime was almost as much a tragedy as her early death. So she never got to experience what happened next. And what happened next was the album caught fire in the UK. Some DJs played a couple of the covers from the album. She did Sting's Fields of Gold and Over the Rainbow and the album just blew up and then it blew up in the, in the US. It's sort of tragically beautiful story, but a very relatable one of somebody who was an artist all her life in, in different ways and did different, she made jewelry and pottery and she 
was a gardener and she had different jobs and she was a journeyman, you know, musician playing in different bands. And I love this sentence here. Cassidy's unwillingness to narrow her stylistic focus to one genre hindered her chances of securing a record deal. I mean, how true is that? I used to hold. I love that. She's doing the same thing with the sixth. Now she's in a different key than this. And when I keep referencing this classic, right, the bass line in this is. So in that recording, in the Cannonball recording, they are really outlining the sound of the sixth, minor sixth as the tonic. And Eva's doing it as well. She's in a different key. Used to hold. She's doing it in D flat major slash B flat minor. That note, that's that sixth. Okay, B section. So in the top of the form, this song goes two, five, one in major four chord, and then two, five, one in minor. And then the bridge is the opposite. It goes two, five, one in minor, and then to two, five, one in major. Since you went away, the days grow long. The setup that she's giving here for what's coming is incredible. And soon I hear old winter song. But I you most of all my darling when autumn leaves start to fall there's a beautiful 16 bar piano solo one of the things I like about it is when I say solo, it's not a jazz solo. It's almost this minimalist classical thing. It's, it fits perfectly with the context of what's going on. It's just kind of a straight eighth note improvisation. Back in at the bridge. Okay, listen, listen to this. Just speaking of phrasing, the way that she connects, connects the phrases. I don't know. It's about way, the way she connects and, and then takes a breath. Listen to this. Okay. The days grow long But I miss you most of all, my darling. When autumn leaves start to fall. So, wow, complete chills. The way that she's just beautifully expressing this classic melody in, in her own way is, I would hope, 
so inspirational to think about what what is a melody? What is a melody expressing? When you go to play a melody, how can you express it differently, uniquely, emotionally um, representative of you and your moment while, st while it's still the melody? You're not playing something else. And that's some of what I'm left with from, from Eva Cassidy's performance. You know, there's no amount of licks or anything jazzy that could, for me, top of that. It's just pure emotion and music in its finest form right there. Every time I hear it and now that actually seeing it is like making it even more goosebumpy, but it's just a great reminder, certainly to me, maybe it will be to you that, you know, these notes on a page that we look at, oh, what's the melody? It's not just an excuse to get to the blowing. It's not just an excuse to get to the altered dominant licks you want to play. It's what are you saying or expressing through the music and and especially through the melody. Um, if you don't have something to say through that melody, it's worth examining. You, you want to have, I mean, you do. We all do, right? But if you're not saying it, maybe reflect and, and how could you, how could you do something about that? <laughs> you could listen to Eva Cassidy a dozen times and you might have some ideas. Are you kidding me? It already ran out? Oh my goodness, that's cheapo. Um, so we, wait, this one we don't have to change, right? Yeah. This is okay. Screech, screech, screech. No, I didn't, hey now. <laughs> Where is she? I think she ran away. Go! Try to find me five times in the video. Ooh.